What's good, Storm fans? Brent Cook, and today we are playing the Eternal Weekend Top 8 list from the Asia event, Goblin Charbelcher Combo. This list, honestly, is kind of straight from 2013 when you look at it. It still has Taiga in it. And if it will let me ever zoom in, we have Taiga, we have Land Grant, and a lot of modern builds, you see people running the multi-faced cards, um, Shatter Skull Smashing, uh, turn timber symbiosis over these so that way your belcher is always lethal and in this list we have land grant we're kind of seeing a throwback as well to desperate ritual we have seething song and then one jessica as well jessica as well on its own makes seven mana which is enough to goblin char belcher for lethal but we're still seeing four copies of seething song and desperate rituals also if you're playing in paper there's mind goblin which makes six red mana uh, it's not available on Magic Online, but those are some interesting decisions to still see Seething Song, Desperate Ritual. Let's see how those uh, play out today. I could see Desperate Ritual being nice as a bridge from two to three mana for the Seething Songs, but I would need a larger game size to really know about those. But once again, this is the list from Eternal Weekend. We're really just looking to ramp into Belcher. You won't see... Uh... No, we do have Empty the Warrens in this list. My bad. I was going to call that out. Uh, but we do have empties in the list. Those are sort of a throwback as well, because a lot of lists have actually gotten rid of those recently. We have four Gamble to help get the Echo of Aeons, and I was going to pretend to like call out no empty for a full place at a Gamble, but it just turns out that we have it all here. So uh, surprise, surprise. I don't really have uh, too much feedback for this deck list other than what I've already mentioned, so I'm going to keep this deck tech short and sweet. Uh, once again, if you're watching this video for the month of December, if you are a member of any single level of this channel, you get access to all videos early. Even though it is typically a $50 member tier perk, you get it this month for $5. So click that join button down below. I would greatly appreciate your support. All right, that's what I've got. I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one, we're facing our good friend Tyler Carden. I've already talked some trash in the chat by saying the ant smells like old cabbage and we're on the play. Tyler is a dedicated ant player, so we got to do a little bit of a uh, ribbing in there. Okay, this seems like a keep to me. Tyler takes a mulligan. All right, so... This hand, I might have messed up. I thought that we had a better play. I mean, I guess I still have a fine play here. It's just not the play that I wanted to make. I think we imprint the Desperate Ritual. And now let's go get Lion's Eye Diamond. Click on the diamond. A. Hey. Oh, I actually wanted the Tinder Wall. That's sort of a bummer. Our best thing would have been discarding the Seething Song or the Echo. But uh, I guess we'll get a new hand here with two permanents in play. And this does it. So we'll Exile Spirit Guide, Exile Spirit Guide. We got a Lotus Petal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Old Cabbage Ant, not having Force of Will. Total Cabbage Deck. Reveal land grant. We'll go get that taiga. Get belched. Sorry, Tyler. I hope you enjoyed this. Tyler will definitely watch too. Tyler watches all of our videos. Uh, gives us donation decks. He's a really lovely guy. I don't know why I'm trash talking Ant so much. Uh, but here we are. So we got our first game win. And uh, I know Tyler won't take it personally. It's fine. All right. So we're definitely interested in four Veil of Summer against Tyler. Uh, it's just it shuts off his wins. It's pretty good. The empties are not very good, so we'll get rid of those. And I think on the draw, we can probably get rid of the Jessica's will. Let's try submitting this. Keep, 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 keep. Swamp into Thoughtseize. Yeah. Bummer. We're gonna lose our diamond here. 
Yep. Full Lotus Petal. Lion's Eye Diamond. Three cards in hand. We'll take a draw. Burning Wish. So step one, we're going to remove these. Cast the Desperate Ritual. We'll gamble. We'll get Lion's Eye Diamond. Play the Diamond. I guess it's better to have the Chromox in play. I don't have strong opinions there. And then we'll gamble. Go get the Echo. Sacrifice for blue. All right, Echo floating a red. Uh, does this do it? Red of Flame is two. This does do it as long as we don't hit the Taiga. Imprint Veil of Summer. Lotus Petal. Remove the Spirit Guide. Play the Belcher. Activate and target Tyler. Who is just barely good enough. Negative two. A pair of turn ones. What a way to start this league. We are 1 0. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the draw, and I will keep. We already have the Belcher. We have Taiga out of the deck. If they're not on a Counterspell deck, we can play the Belcher turn one. This seems great. Speed Magic. Let's see if we can get a shorter time for this video than I did the uh, the Neo Brand video. We don't care about this Chalice on one. I think this is actually a win. Beautiful. Print this empty. I mean, Empty would probably be good against this deck, too. Belcher. Pass. And the opponent concedes. Yes. Take that initiative. Nobody likes you. All right. We're going to bring in the Force of Vigors. Is there anything else we want? Probably not. Could try boarding in the Shattering Spree, but I'm not sure how that good that actually is. Let's board out the Jessica's on the draw. And now we're at 61. Maybe a Desperate Ritual? Submit. I mean, this hand does the thing. I'm not going to mulligan it. Keep. Chalice on zero. Cavern of Souls. Draw. That was a good one. Okay. Tinder Wall. Sacrifice Tinder Wall. Seething Song. Gamble. So if I get another Seething Song here, it gives me enough mana to cast Burning Wish into Empty if I accidentally discard this Empty. I think I'm going to grab that. Seething Song. Lotus Petal. Countered by the Chalice. And then I empty the Warrens for 12. And it looks like it's resolving. This is good. Pass the turn. Incoming Concession. Yes! Hell yeah, 2040. Round three coming up. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round number two, we're on the draw. We have Taiga and Land Grant. That doesn't really work. We have Gamble for Echo Vans, but no blue mana. I don't think that this hand really functions. We'll take a London Bull again. And here we have a terrific hand, Keep. I think you're supposed to bottom the Belcher. We can't cast it anyway, so it's sort of a no-brainer. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Bayou. And they're on Elves. This seems like a great deck to belch against. Take a draw. Another Echo. Beautiful. Land Grant. Resolve that. We'll go grab Taiga. Grab it. Put it into play. Play the Chrome Mox. We'll imprint the Empty. Triggers. Exile. Cast the Rite of Flame. Lion's Eye Diamond. Storm 4. 
Make three blue. Can we get another turn one? I hope so. Floating three mana, storm five. Oh, baby. I think this does it. Tender wall. Sacrifice tender wall. This is, in fact, another turn one. Only turn ones in this video. Throw Mox. We'll put another empty under there. Goblin Charbelcher. Belch Belch. We're just speed running. I love it. And we're going to game number two. Boom. Okay. Once again, Jessica's Will can come out on the draw. I wonder if empty's fast enough here. I don't mind a Veil of Summer 2 versus their Thought Seizes, but maybe I'm only supposed to do the 1. I'll bore it in more on the play. Being on the draw, like, you need an Elvish Spirit Guide otherwise. I don't know. Is this even a keep? This is a Cyborg Echo? No, it's not. I can't even do that. Mulligan. So if I draw an Action Spell, we, do, we get to do something. The one nice thing about this hand is it's pretty much uh, Thought Seize proof. Get rid of this uh, Desperate Ritual. I'll just draw a Gamble, no big deal. This is probably going to be the first hand of the league that we don't turn one somebody. Why would Symbiote, come on deck, please. Please. Belcher. I'll take it. Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide. Lions Eye Diamond. So we could just immediately echo here and play around Mind Break Trap. I don't hate that. And I'm going to do that actually, because there's a chance our opponent kept their hand. They didn't have turn one thought see, so it's not unrealistic for them to have mind break here. Lotus petal. Lotus petal. I'm trying to think if I can do this better. Hold on. We'll splice desperate ritual. This makes six red. Seven red. And now we can gamble, go get Belcher. And now we can Belch. If we hit the Taiga, it's not great, but it's lethal instead of the empty. Ah, uh, and they had the trap. Ah, uh, if we have one more mana, we could empty, but they got me. Okay, bummer. On the play, I was, I, I don't think we actually want that. Wish we had like a Thought Seize or something in the sideboard here. Let's bring the Jessica's back in. We'll submit. I don't know. Like, just maybe I was supposed to board in the Veils on the draw versus Thoughtseize anyway, but our opponent didn't have it, so I guess that doesn't really matter. On the play. I think we keep this. If I'm the opponent, I'm, like, hard mulliganing for Mind Break. Leyline of the Void. Uh-oh. And I kept a hand that really wants to echo. Hmm. Let's gamble. Should I get Chrome Mox? That does help me play Belcher next turn. I think it's Chrome Mox. Oh no. I hit the Belcher, I have to pass. That's not good. As Alasaur Shepherd. We get Desperate Ritual. I mean, we're just gonna empty for 10 and hope that's good enough. Lotus Petal. Might as well imprint the echo. It's not doing any good in my hand. Empty for 10 goblins. And it's resolving, so no mind break. Can 10 goblins beat elves? Land number two. Elves visionary. Burning Wish is probably my best draw. I think I'm going to hard cast a monkey. I'm not even joking. Get in there. They're blocking. Okay, so they're going to take 8 down to 12. Red. All right. All monkey business. Uh, Seeming Spear got on the stack past the turn. Nettle Sentinel. Burning Catacombs. So they can fetch for a Dryad Arbor here. We drew a blank in land grants. So we're just attacking and passing. So they'll block a 1-1 one, one and take 9. Are you going to block with the Dryad Arbor too? That would be interesting. Ooh, and they do. So they're going to take eight down to three. I believe that we've actually won this. Okay. Prove me wrong. They would need a glimpse of nature into like a really good start. All right. I think th this should be it. I guess if they go Cradle, uh, Heritage Druid, 
or well they'd want her cradle glimpse heritage druid but we got there i'll quit talking so we can uh speed run this better all right 3-0 match four coming up if you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Oh no, I accidentally didn't hit record to start the round. I am so sorry, I just looked over. So this game, we started with a turn one gamble. Our opponent forced the gamble, leaving me with a Lion's Eye Diamond in play. I then... Uh, drew Burning Wish for turn on turn two, Burning Wish for Echo, and then echoed into this hand. Our opponent then played Channeler into Ponder. I am so sorry that I misclicked on the record button. Please forgive me. And we drew another gamble. Let's cast that. I think we actually want to get um, empty with it here. Let's grab empty because we might be able to beat their counter magic. We discarded Chrome Mox. That's actually decent. Play out Lions at Diamond. Maybe they'll force this. Nope. Remove Simeon Spirit Guide. Remove Simeon Spirit Guide. I want them to think that the Rite of Flame doesn't matter. That's why I'm removing the Spirit Guides first. Because if I lead on Rite of Flame and they daze, I can't cast the Empty. So I need them to think that this Rite of Flame does not matter. They're going to force the Rite of Flame. Wow. They got me. All right, pass the turn. There was some next level Jedi thinking there. They flip Delver to Ponder. I don't think we're going to be able to win this unless I rip an Echo off the top now. Ponder on the stack. Mystic Sanctuary, they have four cards in hand. Swinging for four. Take a draw. Pass the turn. They bolt me, the channeler trigger surveil. I'm at 12. This empty is not going to be fast enough to race here. They swing for four. I'm going to go to eight. Take a draw. Ender wall. So I can make eight goblins, but it doesn't race these creatures. It's just wasted resources, so I'm going to pass. I guess I could have played out the tinder wall to block the channeler. And now they're attacking for four. We'll fall the four life and... I think I'm probably out of this game. They have five cards in hand. They have to be able to interact with me. Take a draw. All right, game two coming up. Can't believe they forced that Rite of Flame. Genius play by them. We definitely want Veil of Summer. I'm gonna try boarding in the Xanids. I don't love them against Lightning Bolt decks, but we need them. So let's get rid of the Jeskis Will. We're at 65. So the question is, is Seething Song better against Delver? It's a bigger force target. I think in general, Desperate Rules or Desperate Rituals is a little stinky. So I'm going to board out that and then minus one Seething Song. We'll try this. Submit deck. Game number two, we're on the play. What do we have here? Sort of all in against a force. I don't think I'm supposed to mulligan this though. They took a mulligan straight to five. All right, they've kept five cards. We will cast land grant. Grab the taiga, play out taiga. So we could go all in here, or I can play out the tinder wall and then try to set up a protected win next turn. I believe that's going to be my line. They play flooded strand. We drew belcher. Let's gamble. I don't actually know what the right play is here. So I could get Echo, and if I get Echo, I don't mind discarding it or the Belcher. But it's not actually protection, unless the opponent forces the wrong thing. Hmm. If I get Veil of Summer, and then it, if they discard the Rite of Flame, I can't cast the Veil of Summer, but also discarding Lion's Eye Diamond becomes uncomfortable. So, like, if I get the Veil, I pretty much have to discard the Belcher. Alright, Veil of Summer. And it was in Tomb. Oh. Sorry, I just hit my mic. That's awkward. So we waited a turn, and now we're not even protected. Put the Burning Wish on the stack. I guess, like, so I could have played out the Lion's Eye Diamonds here, and then, like, represented maybe getting an empty. But I feel like I'm supposed to echo here and not empty, but then I'm playing into Pyroblast, so I'm sort of stuck in a tough position either way. So the reason I don't love empty is a lot of the Belcher lists have sweepers in the board, but... 
Maybe I'm not supposed to be a coward. I'm just supposed to belch anyway. And by belch, I mean go all in on empty, not actually Goblin Char Belcher. Discard one Lion's Eye Diamond. We'll keep one around for a possible empty or a possible echo off the top. Force Pitch is Delver. Yep. I mean, it was pretty clear that they mulliganed to Force of Will. So that's why I didn't love the all in on Lion's Eye Diamond plan. At least now I have a backup diamond. And if I draw another echo, we're still in this. All right, play out the Xanded. Xanded resolves. So now a gamble or echo look really good. We'll take one off the channeler, going to 19. And another channeler. Come on, deck. Hiya. No point in playing out the Lotus Petal. I'm just going to pass. We have three gambles and three echoes in our deck that we want to find. When it plays a brainstorm, they get double surveil trigger, surgical extraction, ponder. It's worth noting that if these channelers become delirious, I'm at 19, and uh, they would be six power, so it's a, still a four turn clock unless I somehow lose a life randomly. They resolve their brainstorm, they play a flooded strand and attack for two, so still not delirious. Come on, deck, please give me echo. They grab another Volcanic, a third Channeler. That's pretty scary. Take a draw. We don't have an Echo on the board. So I could go all in to clear their creatures, leaving them with two cards in hand. I don't like that, though. And I'm not going to attack, because if I swing in now and they have a Surgical in hand, they could Surgical a random card and then trigger Surveil and I might be dead. I don't want that to happen. Expressive Iteration. This does not give them delirium. That said, one of their surveils might. They surveil away a brainstorm and another brainstorm. So now the expressive resolves. Really wish I still had that echo on the board. Right now, it looks like Jessica's Will is probably our best card. They play the island into Ponder. They mill a misty rainforest, a daze. Ponder. Okay, so not becoming delirious again, and we'll take three damage down to 14 after everything is said and done. They found a bobble, so this does give them delirium. Okay, so now I'm taking nine down to eight. We're going to have to get a move on it here. All right, so now their creatures are in fact huge. It's looking like I might be forced to go all in on a Jessica's will. Okay. At eight. Come on, deck, please give me echo. Draw. That was actually a terrible draw. Uh not good. We're probably just dead. Yeah, Chromox is one of the worst draws in the deck. Play the Chromox, I guess. I'm trying to think if there's even a possible perfect three cards to hit off this Jessica as well. Uh I guess like Lion's Eye Diamond, Lion's Eye Diamond, um, Gamble. Okay. Sacrifice for triple red. Burning wish. Yes, we'd like to use its ability. Get the Jessica's will. And then we're going to use the act on impulse mode to exile the top three. We may play them until the end of our turn. LED, LED gamble. Let's see it. We hit one Lion's Eye Diamond, but uh, these others are not good enough. We have been defeated by Belcher. We are now three and one. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pinned comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Alright, the fifth and final match. We're on the draw. This is a keep. So I was running the, okay, so first things first. So at the end of that last round, I said we were defeated by Belcher. I meant Delver. That said, our deck did defeat us a little bit, so that's a little bit of a bummer. The second thing I want to mention is I ran the Scrubber in between rounds. We are on pace for this to be the fastest league ever on this channel. So if this is another fast match, we might actually get there. So hopefully we do. We're facing uh, Delver again, so not really what we want. Okay, let's start off by playing Chromox. Imprint the Gamble. 
remove Elvish Spirit Guide. Let's play Lion's Eye Diamond. Desperate Ritual. See if they try to daze this. They did not. Remove Simeon Spirit Guide. We will cast Burning Wish, hold priority, add triple blue. So we have Echo in the Graveyard, Burning Wish on the stack. If they force this, we just flash back the Echo. And they do force a will of pitching a Murktide Regent. Now we will flash back the Echo of Aeons. Term 6, floating 2 mana. Brainstorms in response, term 7. Echo is back on the stack. And they found another force? Are you kidding me? They have one card in hand. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Double force on turn 1? No justice. Into Dragon's Rage Channeler. Wow. We draw a Spear Guide, we'll pass back. I could just concede here and go to game two. They don't even fetch. They wanted both cards they put back on the Brainstorm. How insane is that? They ponder, they surveil. This gives them Delirium. And they kept the card on Ponder, too. You know what? I've had enough. We'll go to the next game. What an insane start. Bring in the Xanids and the Veil of Summers. Get rid of the Jesk as well and these Desperate Rituals. Board out one Seething Song. Let's go. Game number two, we're on the play. This puts Belcher in a play on turn one. Keep. That means that they have a Force of Will. <laughs> Land Grant. They kept seven. They definitely have a Force of Will. Right of Flame. Lotus Petal. Pitch Spirit Guide. Play the Belcher. We're not going to concede because they still have Echoes in the deck that I can play that could get us back into this. They play a Scalding Tarn. They activate it. They pick up uh, Volcanic Island and they're playing a Channeler. Come on, Echo, please. The draw with Spirit Guide will pass back. It's worth noting if we drew Burning Wish now, we could Burning Wish for an Echo or the Empty. They play a Brainstorm, Steam Vents, so no Fetch Land. Interesting. Mishra's Bobble, so that's Artifact, Sorcery, Instant Land, that's Delirium. Alright, so now they're attacking for three. I'll go to 17, and they'll have four cards in their hand after the Bobble Trigger. They draw, we draw. Another Spirit Guide we have to pass. Ooh. Wasteland's kind of brutal here. Now they attack for three, we'll fall to 14. They're passing. We'll take a draw. Right of Flame, pass back. So this game was not getting any better by waiting. We boarded in six protection spells, and those were just were not enough. Another Brainstorm, they get to Surveil. They decide not to keep Expressive Iteration. That's pretty interesting. They play a Polluted Delta, and they get in for three again. I'm going to 11 with four cards still in hand. They play Delta into another Volk, and this looks like a Murktide Regent. This game may be ending pretty soon if I don't draw a good card here. What are the odds they don't have another Force in hand as well? Draw. Empty. Empty is not castable. Oh, no, it is castable. I have uh, a Rite of Flame in the Graveyard. Eight isn't enough to race this, though. I actually lose the race to the Dragon. I have to pass. Empty not being good enough here is kind of a bummer. They play another land. They attack for eight. I go to three. You have a bolt? There's a pause here. You're fetching. This could be Sanctuary to put Expressive on top, which pumps the Regent one, but that's still two damage short. I'm at two life. Take a draw. That's a chumper for the Regent, I guess. Play is added. The bug resolved. They have four in hand. We see an expressive iteration here. They're dazing their own expressive. This gives them delirium and I am dead. They play a delta and now they swing for lethal. All right, so that's going to be the end of the league. A little bit of a bummer there. Uh, will we break the record? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be pretty close. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So changes. I think that you could probably cut the Desperate Rituals and maybe even the Seething Songs. Jessica's Will has a higher upside. I don't know if that's better or not than having Seething Song. The fact that it can make seven just to play into your Belchers is very good. I'd also like to see Mind Goblin in here over the Desperate Rituals. 
but I think those two would be pretty impactful. We never got bit by the Chaiga land grant package instead of just the modal card, so that was pretty interesting. Overall, this deck was a blast, and it seems pretty good against initiative. So if you're looking to beat up on initiative Stompy and Eternal Weekend, the online or America ones, I would consider playing this deck. I mean, you'd have to dodge a lot of the blue decks, so uh, I don't know. Um, but you could probably build this to be a little bit better against blue if you wanted to with the sideboard. There's a lot of cutesy cards in here, but that's what I've got for today. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.